Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today's a follow up video from a comment that I received on YouTube. Uh, Stephen S. had watched another video that I had on how to select a massive amount of data um, with some keyboard shortcuts and uh, he provided an alternate solution and then um, I figured out a another way that you can use his alternate solution to do a non-contiguous range and uh, really cool like this a lot uh, so <clears throat> I'll link down below to the original video so you can see how to do it with some keyboard shortcuts um, that I like to do and uh, let's go ahead and do it so right here I've got just some made-up data um, that I created it starts on row a1 and it goes all the way down to 640,000 so very large set of data. If you're going to scroll with your mouse, it's going to be a really long time to scroll and hold your mouse key down and hopefully you don't let go of the mouse key. Um, but one way that Stephen S. suggested to do is hit your F5 button. Once you hit the F5 button, you can type in that range. So let's do A1 through uh, and it's going to be column E640,000. And look at that, it highlights that entire range. Now, if you want your mouse to go, um, you notice I'm hitting the tab button. You can see it's going throughout my data row by row. If I do shift tab, I can do the same thing, and but I'll get to the 640th thousandth value. So I'm doing shift tab, and you can see I am highlighting uh, active cell within that large range that I selected. So pretty quick and easy shortcut. Hit your F5, which is your go-to one. Normally I would just have gone to a specific area, but you can go to a range and it highlights that range. Now, the other cool trick that you can use the F5 uh, go-to menu for is non-contiguous ranges. What you want to do is just separate those with commas. I find sometimes I'll do a non-contiguous range and it repeats over and over again, but I might uh, uh, hit my mouse on the wrong cell and now I've got to start all over again but if you have that non-contiguous range that you're looking for hit your F5 key and let's do A1 through uh, let's go D5 and then you do a comma and I'm going to do uh, B7 colon and I'm going to go through E21 and let's do one more let's do uh, uh, E24 um, through uh, <clears throat> F24, I'll just add that in there. I'm gonna hit my enter key and look at that. It has highlighted the non-contiguous range for me and selected it. Once again, if you hit the tab key, you're gonna go throughout that different range and it's gonna hop to the next one in the non-contiguous range. If you hit your shift tab key, it will like also bring you to the bottom. It'll start going up uh, and if it hits the top of the range, it will then go to the bottom cell and continue up. So hopefully you found this a really cool technique. Um, I just learned it a little bit ago. The F5, hit your F5 and your go-to. Type in the range that you want to select. If you want to do non-contiguous ranges, just separate those with commas. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Make sure you sign up for my video channel so that you get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. I've also been told that you need to select the little bell icon and check notifications so that you are notified the next time a video drops. Also head over to Excel Dashboard Templates.com to check out some of my other great posts.